welcome back to my channel. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I also want to apologize because of the changes, my lighting, my camera. I'm trying to get a new hold of this new stuff. Anyways, I think it looks so much better now and I hope you enjoy this video. And I did use my baby, the Jaclyn Hill Favorite Palette and it's becoming really one of my favorites. So I'm thinking I want to do maybe 10 looks with this one palette so you can see how, mu how much you can get out of it and how much it's worth getting this. Oh. So yeah, I used Jaclyn Hill's favorite palette to recreate this eye look and I hope you like this video. Um, and if you want to know how I achieved it, just keep on watching. Bye! All right, so brows are done with the Anastasia Beverly, Hill, Beverly Hills Dip Brown in Soft Brown. As well as foundation, I used the Locket Foundation by Kat Von D in the shade Medium 50, 52. With the Jaclyn Hill Favorite, I'm taking this beautiful, nice, light, warm brown. And I'm just going to apply that on the crease. And I'm going to apply that with uh, windshield-like motions. And I'm just going to blend the color out all over the crease. Taking this beautiful darker brown color, I'm just going to apply that over where I just applied the lighter brown and I'm just going to intensify the crease with this darker brown. Moving on to the lid, taking this beautiful pink shade and I'm going to apply it dry first and I'm going to apply that all over the lid and then with my, Max, uh, my MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to wet my brush to intensify this color and to make the line shine through and I'm just going to apply it wet all over my lid. For my brow highlight, I'm using this beautiful uh, light white shade, frosty shade from the very upper uh, left corner of the palette and I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone for, a, and this is going to be my highlight. Going back with that brown that we applied uh, the second time, I'm just going to intensify that crease once more. Moving on to liner, I'm using my Physicians Formula Liner and you know I always use this liner, it's my favorite eyeliner and it's uh, eye booster eyeliner in ultra black and I've used it in every single video. Here I'm just doing my wing liner and I always do wing liner. I like my wing liner so no judgment. So once the eyeliner is finished I'm going to move on with any nude pen. This one is by NARS. And I'm just going to apply that on my waterline and with any black pen I'm also going to tight line my upper waterline and I'm just going to apply that black pen up there for a thicker illusion of an upper lash line. Once I do that taking my house of lashes and heartbreaker and I got a bunch of those so I'm so happy I, I actually love these lashes and I'm going to apply them with the duo eyelash adhesive and it dries black so it's just perfect for me and I'm just gonna pop those babies on to let them dry I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm using Maybelline age rewind concealer and I'm just going to apply a light hand underneath my eye my um underneath my eyes and this is just going to cover my dark circles but it was very light so I did go on with another concealer and I just strictly apply that on the areas that need more coverage which are my dark circles and I used the Revlon age defined concealer and I literally just put right under that dark circle area because I don't want to um, apply it a lot and look all cakey so with my beauty blender I'm going to blend that all away and the remaining of concealer, I'm going to apply it on my T-zone as a highlight, on the forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. To set my concealer and foundation, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix in NC, NC30. And I'm with the sponge provided in the little uh, thing, I'm just going to just set all my foundation, set my concealer and everything in place. I did realize my foundation looks a little bit darker. And I didn't know my skin got lighter, but it looks darker on my skin, but it's okay. I didn't go anywhere, so no big deal. But I do notice that it was a little darker on my neck. Um, but that's okay, because I didn't go anywhere. 
here I'm just bronzing up my face with Max Give Me Sun and I'm just going to give a little more color and structure to my face. Moving on for blush, I'm using Petal Power by MAC and I'm just going to apply a light hand of this blush. And I did realize in this video that I'm using a lot of MAC products. I didn't know that I used so many MAC products. So uh, for highlight today I'm using Light es Escapade by MAC and this is a beautiful highlight. I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks, like on the highest point of my cheeks, on my cupid's bow. And later on, I will apply that on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to go ahead with my Kat Von D uh, palette and I'm just going to quickly do a nose contour. And with the middle shade, I'm going to um, apply that light shade on the bridge of my nose just for highlight. And I'm also taking that MAC Light Escapade and just for extra glow and extra highlight. And I'm also taking that yellow shade uh, in the middle and I'm just going to apply that as a highlight underneath my eyes and on the t-zone area moving on to the eyes again on the bottom lash line i'm taking the very nice dark brown color that we use and i'm just going to apply that on the lash line and then i'm going to take mascara and i'm going to mix my upper lashes with the fake lashes and i'm going to coat my baby lashes my bottom baby lashes as well that's it for the eyes. Moving on to the lips using Red by MAC and a kiss, goodbye kiss from my boyfriend. Uh, I'm going to line my lips and this is a nice beautiful red, red color. And I'm going to be using um, Lady Danger by MAC and it's an orangey shade. It's more on the orange side rather than the red side but I wanted it to be a little bit in between. So that's why I lined my lips with a red liner so it would look reddish orange if that makes sense and if it doesn't that's okay because we are not yet done with the look I fooled you guys um, I did forget to put my highlight so I'm just gonna do that right now and I'm using Mac and this one is nylon and I'm just going to apply that beautiful frosty white shade in the inner corners of my eyes for more of that awake and bright look towards my eyes and that should be it for the look guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you on my next tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe bye thank you so much for watching bye.